Hi everyone! This video will go over how to journalize investment transactions. So for transaction number one, on March 1st, we received cash from owner Norma Dirks as an investment $2,800 receipt number one. All right, so for this transaction, if we come over to the general journal, the first thing that we're going to do is write the date, which is March 1st of the current year, which is 2023, in the date column. Next, we're going to write the first account title, which is cash in the account title column. After that, we're going to write the source document number, which is R1 for receipt number one in the document number column. Following that, we're going to record the amount, which is $2,800 in the debit column. Then we're going to write the second account title, which is Norma Dirks Capital in the account title column. And finally, we're going to record the same amount again, which is $2,800 in the credit column. Okay, so that is transaction number one. For transaction number two, on April 1st, we received cash of $15,000 and supplies valued at $4,000 from partner Sophie Pavlov as an initial investment receipt number one. Okay, so for this transaction, if we come over to the cash receipts journal, The first thing that we're going to do is write the date, which is April 1st of the current year, which is 2023, in the date column. Next, we're going to record the cash amount, which is $15,000 in the cash debit column. After that, we're going to write the first account title, which is supplies in the account title column. Following that, we're going to write the source document number, which is R1 for receipt number one in the document number column. Then we're going to record the supplies amount, which is $4,000 in the general debit column. Next, we're going to write the second account title, which is Sophie Pavlov Capital in the account title column.
And then from here, if we take $15,000, which is the amount of cash, and we add the $4,000, which is the amount of supplies, that will give us the total amount of the investment, which is $19 thousand dollars. We record this amount in the general credit column. All right, so that is transaction number two. Lastly, for transaction number three, also on April 1st, we received cash from partner Noah Mancini as an initial investment, $22,000, receipt number two. All right, so for this transaction, if we come back over to the cash receipts journal, the first thing that we're going to do is write the date, which is April 1st. Next, we're going to write the account title, which is Noah Mancini Capital in the account title column. After that, we're going to write the source document number, which is R2 for receipt number two in the document number column. Following that, we're going to record the amount, which is $22,000 in the general credit column. And then we're going to record the same amount again as a debit to cash in the cash debit column. All right, so that is transaction number three, and it's also the end of the Journalizing Investment Transactions video. I hope you found this video to be helpful and useful. If you have, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and also subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!